In this video, we're going to show you all the unlimited money, OP glitches, and exploits that will help you crush Baldur's Gate 3 after patch 1. Subscribe to the Linus Wilson channel. We give you the secrets to crush Baldur's Gate 3. So, I get the question whenever there's a new patch. Oh, is it patched out? It must be patched out. No, it's not patched out. None of it's patched out. But you probably don't know all these things, so I'm going to go through them. First one is the merchant glitch, unlimited gold glitch. So, you can do this with either an uh, Xbox controller or a PS5 controller. I assume PS4 controller would work too. Um, so there's, if you go up to a merchant and then you have your your uh, controller connected, then you can go talk to him. That's the A button. Make sure you're talking to him and not stealing anything. That's the A button on the Xbox, uh, or that's the uh, X button on the PS5. And then when you get to his menu, select and this is important, select Y on the Xbox to trade or triangle on the PS5, PS4 to trade. Now, I, I do get the thing that somebody wants to join my party with the, the PS5 and just hit the circle button to cancel that and it'll take you, you'll get to go to the trade menu. Then once you're in the trade menu with either one of those controllers in command, you want to right click and then it's the screen's going to switch and the icons are going to look different because you switch from keyboard and mouse, uh, from controller to keyboard and mouse. And so what you're going to do is you're going to right click the item such as the gold. You take the big stack of gold and send it to camp. That's important. Send it to camp. Don't send it to your associates. Don't pick it up, don't use it, send it to camp, and then you're going to pick it up in your camp chest after you're done. So you get all the items that you want, and I recommend getting a lot, because there's a lot of good stuff at these vendors, such as potions. You always want to get food, because you reset the vendors by long resting. Yes, you can reset the vendors by leveling up, but long resting is is much more frequent so you you probably if you're doing a completionist playthrough you should do hundreds of long rests whereas if you are doing a, a you're only going to level up 11 times so you can reset the vendor as many times as you want I think you could easily get 30,000 gold per hour if you're just focusing on gold uh, but probably a lot more okay so the the next glitch is the infinite heals god mode glitch so to do this now if you're going for the tactician trophy you don't want to do this because you're going to end up switching the difficulty level but this is how you do it but if you're doing playing on balanced and you're not going for the tactician trophy then this is fine so uh if you get your party gets injured then you can switch from uh tactician to balance to tactician and then back to whatever you want to do uh, so that you can heal right and so basically you leave the number of points that you're down from the top if you go from tactician to uh, story or explorer and then when you go from explorer back to tactician uh, you actually have full health and so once you get to that tactician again then you can go to whatever difficulty level and and you can do this in mid fights uh but i guess it does that your foes that you don't kill it also heals but if you're killing foes and then you have to heal then you're coming out ahead and you never have to use a health potion again so this is really op uh the other op uh glitch exploit is that you can get the weapon of uh the Voss at the mountain pass if you've not got it if you've not visited the githyanki crash uh you can still do this if you've not talked to him and he's flown away you can sneak up on him and use a disarming attack i've checked the disarming attack after patch one i haven't checked command drop because it's so tedious you have to do it so many times but if you have a level three fighter so if you've hit level three then you can create a level three fighter with withers or you can respect to one you want to make sure that you have a disarming attack. Uh, if you're using Lazelle, then use a ranged disarming attack. The probability of the drop is less than the probability of hitting him. Uh, I think one person estimated for me that about 17% or 16%. It's but it's not it's not zero. Uh, and just 
if you keep at it 10 or 20 times, you'll definitely get it. does involve some saves coming to get this legendary sword, which is an Act 3 sword. Uh, and it's best for Lazelle. Uh, but you don't want Lazelle to get too close to the guy, because then you're going to get to a cutscene. So you, if she's going to do a disarming attack, do it from range. Uh, or you could use a, a hireling fighter if you're having trouble with her getting into the cutscene. You don't want to get into the cutscene, sneak up to him um, in stealth invisibility mode. And it won't affect your story. Next up is the double XP glitch. So the key that I remember with this is it's not going to work 100% of the time. Because 100% of the time you're not going to kill foes with one HP of health. So... What you need to do is you need to be in passives and select passive attacks or non-lethal attack. So that's going to be on the bottom of that menu. So when you're in the general screen where you look at a lot of things, there's a passive and then you need to toggle on that button. And you can see on your characters if you've got passive attacks on or not. I always have them on because I want to take advantage of this double XP glitch. Now, if you actually do knock out the foe and you can loot them, but they only have one HP, then you can save and reload and you can throw something at them to kill them and you'll get their XP again. So you'll get the XP when you kill them and then you get the, the XP after you save and reload and they have one HP and you can loot them uh, and you throw something at them and then they actually die that time. So you get to kill them twice and get double the XP. But that's only for foes who you've knocked out and only have one HP. So if you do like fire damage on them and they go down to zero HP, then those foes you won't get double XP for. But that still works with patch one. And finally, you can steal all of Wither's money with no consequences. So you, Withers will not react when you pickpocket him. So just keep on trying with the pickpocket until you get everything out of Withers. So that means that you get infinite free respects of your characters, change your character class, whatever, and infinite free resurrections from Withers. Because you can get all his money back, no problem. You just need to pickpocket him and he will not react. Let me know if there are any other infinite money or XP glitches or anything that you like in the comments section but the basic thing is that patch one didn't patch out any of these things and this is recorded in uh, august 25th 2023 after the first patch came out before the ps5 or xbox version has been released so this is only with the pc version but it probably is, all this stuff is probably going to work on the consoles too if you're watching it later